Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Private. We have some breaking news for you this morning because a Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition OLED has leaked. And we have actual images and it even looks like somebody might actually have it in person, a physical version of it uh, in their possession. This is insane and it's so insane, it's almost hard to believe since why the hell would we have the physical version of this, not just an ad, but an actual version of it out in the wild, five months away from launch? That's weird. Well, Nintendo does actually release OLED versions usually before a game launches, so it could be a month early, but still four months away from launch? Probably a month and a half away from being revealed? What the hell is going on? Well, I'm gonna dive into it and show you this special edition. Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED, after I remind you about the sponsor of our channel. All right, let's not waste any more of your time. Here's the first image we have, and where these came from seems to be Reddit slash Tumblr. I've seen this posted on multiple message boards and all over social media as well. And in the first image, you see the gist of what is there. Uh, maybe something that's disappointing is it, it does appear the back of the Switch OLED is not customized like we've seen with some of the other special editions. But the Joy-Cons are customized, and they come with the... Uh, white little Joy-Con uh, button things. I always forget. The Joy-Con straps or whatever they are. I always forget what those are called. And the white OLED has been fully customized as well. Now, what's a bit interesting, at least to me, just on first glance, is that the left and right Joy-Cons obviously have the most amount of detail. The right Joy-Con actually has that uh, same circular pattern you're seeing on the dock, and you'll see a better picture of that uh, in a little bit. So there is... That, there appears to be some text going down the left side as well. And that Hyrule Family Crest in the middle. This is the part that maybe throws me off a bit. That Hyrule Family Crest in the middle isn't actually new. That's an old version one. But maybe that means something for the game. I'm not sure. Gotta remember that I can't really confirm that this is legit and or real. Uh, but the person who leaked this did a very bad job of... Uh, hiding who they are apparently and so people have figured it out and um, I guess it's someone that would have access and it, it's 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 not good it's it's just it's not good there also appears to be a symbol at the bottom on, on the back side of the Joy-Con as well uh, that uh, to me is a little hard to make out but I'm sure Zelda theorists are going to be all over it um, now here's the one where we can see the Joy-Cons in the package showing that they have a physical version on hand it does look like maybe that symbol that's on the back could be that same symbol that's on the bottom left of the gold joy con on the left and i i, I kind of i kind of think that might be like a a predated family crest or something like that or a, an outdated family crest or maybe a new family crest or maybe it's a hylia crest i don't know it's a new i i don't recall seeing that symbol uh, before so that gives you a closer look up at the joy cons and then here's a look at the back of the switch oled box and yeah i mean it looks pretty legit it says nintendo switch oled model the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom edition so this seems pretty stock standard with the, you know in comparison to the splatoon 3 oled in comparison to scarlet and violets oled so this seems to be par for the course now what this obviously does is maybe ruin some people's ideas that Tears of the Kingdom is going to launch alongside new hardware. They're clearly going to be trying to push and sell this special edition. Of course, all the recent reports, I mean, everything about it launching alongside Tears of the Kingdom was always speculation. There was never any reports or rumors pointing to that. The rumors we talked about yesterday said that it would be revealed by the end of 2023, basically. That it would be revealed by 2024. This releasing doesn't really preclude that. If people didn't think they were going to take advantage of Tears of the Kingdom by releasing a special edition Switch OLED, if there was no, no new hardware coming out with Zelda, 
I think uh, you were kidding yourselves. No matter what, they could have literally a brand new system launching next holiday, and they would still release this Zelda Special Edition. By the way, I'm not saying there'll be new hardware next holiday, but there could be. And if there was, that doesn't mean they wouldn't try selling a special edition because they want to keep the sales of Switch going until they're ready to reveal. They're not going to just let Tears of the Kingdom come and go without maximizing the money-making potential with a special edition. Maybe even some brand new Amiibo. There's probably going to be a collector's edition of the Switch itself with various things that cost $100, $200, $300. So I'm just saying that, yeah, they weren't just going to let Tears of the Kingdom come and go without maximizing the money. I also uh, can say this, assuming that this is all real, uh, I will not only own one for myself, I think I'm going to just say it now and commit to giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition OLED if and when it's confirmed and it's coming out. I'm going to get multiple pre-orders down for this bad boy. Anyways, folks, I do want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I want to know your thoughts what are you seeing in this? Here's all the images up at once. If you guys just want to take a pause, full screen it, zoom in, do what you need to do. You guys are amazing, and I really appreciate you guys being here. As always, you can subscribe for more Tears of the Kingdom coverage because we're going to be all over everything, whether it's a rumor, whether it's an actual leak, whether it's uh, just speculation and information and theories and new trailers. We're going to be dissecting everything Tears of the Kingdom because you know what? I have been covering Zelda games for over 20 years, and it's kind of a passion of mine. So uh, hopefully we catch you guys in our next Tears of the Kingdom video, which I have a feeling is going to be pretty soon.